what is it therefore that we then hedge when it comes to um, LNG? Well, there's there's a number of key markets that, that we look at, and this is relating very much to um, how prices are being determined. So European markets, we've got UK national balancing point, TTF, title transfer facility, and we've got futures and options available for those. So these mimic the domestic markets for natural gas in those, and they're what we call gas-to-gas -gas markets. So the price of these is being determined by the supply and demand for gas on, on any one day and then projected forward, giving us a kind of forward curve. And it, it's relating purely to, to that. Again, with, with the US, we've got the Henry Hub futures and options. Again, these are gas-to-gas -gas markets and therefore are going to be defined by um, the uh, supply and demand of, of gas within the US. We also have Gulf of Mexico LNG futures. Again, this is a gas-to-gas, -gas, and what we're talking about here is a, a futures contract that is related to not not the, the natural gas product, but the LNG product, so the processed um, Henry Hub price. And then, of course, we then got the other gas-to-gas, -gas, which are the, the, the JKM, the Japan, Japan Korea markers. Um, and these are the, the price assessments done by Platts, um, which then have developed the futures markets, allowing us to have this sort of gas-to-gas -gas type of pricing uh, within the LNG, specifically within the Asian region, I mean, JK, Japan, Korea, but also it's starting to become more linked to some of the other markets as well. Now, the outlier on this is really the... Um, deliveries into sort of Japan and China and the, the long-term contracts, which tend to all be indexed to oil. So therefore, if we're, if we're looking at an oil index market, then we're actually using oil um, futures and oil options in order to hedge those. So we kind of, and, and the difference obviously with that is we, we have a different driver in price. I mean, gas is a, primarily a heating fuel. Um, so therefore, you know, demand rises in, in winter, falls in summer if we we think where that equator is which is roughly there so not a very straight line um we see that most of the demand that we have um is in the northern hemisphere which means everybody has the same winter at the same time which means that anything that's gas to gas is going to have greater demand in winter than summer um but with oil, it tends to be transport fuel, so you don't tend to get the differences in, in price. So this is one of the kind of the price arbitration aspects that we get across these markets anyway. So when we're talking about this, we're, we're looking at the, the correct markets that we want to um, uh, hedge against and make sure that we kind of um, you know, understand it in terms of what contracts we have in place. The other one we have now, um, primarily when we do LNG, most LNG business tends to be um, priced at delivery, um, not necessarily priced at source. We, we can determine the price through, through a net back um, at source. But with the, the US export, because the export price is directly linked to Henry Hub, we then start to look at um, the other aspect of this, which is spread hedging, where what we're doing is we're securing our, our buy price and we're securing our sell price. And that could be either um, in terms of a, a, a US to, to European type market, so gas to gas and gas to gas. Um, it could be Gulf of Mexico to JKM, but also equally it could be Henry Hub to an oil-based contract. So we're looking in the spreads between those. We'll, we'll discuss how the, the um, spread hedge works a bit later.